Welcome back to All The Mods 9. This is episode 2, and I have a few things I want to show you before we get into today's episode. So, I left off with saying I'm going to find the rest of my house. Small brain me, I did manage to find the rest of my house. I've built the house, the house is done, the house is ready. I think it doesn't look too bad. Okay, I've moved all the stuff that was outside, inside, and there are a few things that I want to get done today. And you'll notice we have a little bit of a problem in our food situation. So we need to start going to get some food. But before we do that, I want to show you the house. Shazam. I think it looks quite nice. Uh, we've got some paving that Ryan managed to gift us. He made some and he didn't want them. And I thought, you know what, I'll take them. I can use them. I've managed to pretty up the area a little bit. I still need to put some bone meal down to get some, some grass growing here. We've got nice bushes around the whole house these will be getting taken up as as we start adding things to the house though because again we wanted to add as we discussed we wanted to add a lean to roof over here with a little section for silent gear again we've got still got the bushes going all the way around i haven't managed to flatten this section off for a farm but there will be a farm here eventually we've got some trap doors on the windows we've got lanterns upon the corner and up there as well and, and again on the corner here we are within the house now it's looking pre pretty bland pretty empty at the minute but we haven't got a lot of stuff and we do have a second floor which i'm gonna put all chests up here and i have somewhat organized this one this one not so much <laughs> this one not so much <laughs> but we got storage over here as well storage over here there will be more storage going along this as well today I want to sort out our food situation because we are having a real big lack of food at the minute. You'll see on the mini map, if I scroll in here, right behind our base, which is there, we have a mushroom thing, which we're going to explore, see what it is, because I'm intrigued. And then we're going to go, if you remember from the last episode, we made a waypoint on this big hole. We're going to go there. We're going to explore that big hole. We're going to go mining today. So without further ado, let's go make our way over to this mushroom thing. We also do have a, a cave and a ravine here, which we will explore at some point. If if the big hole doesn't actually provide us of anything of use, I guess we can always explore down there. If not, from this point on, any mining that is done after today's episode will probably be off camera uh, unless I come across something very amazing. Sweet dreams find a mushroom village what oh it did oh this is this is a mushroom village yeah it's a mushroom village ah very nice any people here got a bookshelves that'll be handy when we know when we need them i'm intrigued by that so see is there anything here i think i must say these are quite nice little houses and we can get ourselves some beetroots not the best food in the world but we'll happily take it that's Helping our food crisis a little bit. There we go. We got loads of food now. Obviously, we need to cook these beetroot to get the better out of them. Oh, oh, ow. Oh, these are evil villagers. Well, I've ransacked the beetroots. I've got no armor, so we might come back to that towards the end of the episode and try and take the take them on. So I had Ryan come over here off camera and he set up one of these waystones so we can actually teleport to each other's base now. I won't show off his base as of yet. We'll do that in the next episode when we when we do a bit more exploring and, and, and things. We'll see what's going on. But we need to prepare ourselves to go out mining and, and, and everything. Can we not? I thought you cooked these beetroot. Oh, right. Noted. I need to make a load of bowls. Aha. I'm going to make beetroot soup. I mean, I guess we could make a load of that. That's not a difficult thing to do I'll, I'll make a load of bowls with this i thought you could cook the beetroot but apparently not there we go we got loads of that okay so we've not got the most amount of food in the world i thought we'd have a bit more than than what we have oh we gained we gained hearts for eating different food nice we now got 12 hearts we still have a food problem on our hands but we've prolonged it <laughs> we've prolonged the inevitable i am sure we've done some quests here Yes, we have. We have done a fair few quests. We've done... I gained some Inferium off killing some stuff through our nights of building the house and completely forgot at the end of the episode to claim the rewards. So we got some XP here. 
I'm getting some Inferium. And we got this. And it's a honey bottle. Okay, that's completed another quest for us. I know we got a lead because there's a wandering village around. I made some shears because obviously I needed to get them leaves. And then the wool, I guess we just got wool through... Well, obviously we got wool through killing sheep and stuff. So we get some wool, we get some XP. We just get XP from everything. Okie dokie, that's all honky dory. We've gone to mystical agriculture, but because we've got Inferium, we've also done this as well so we can... Claim our mystical agriculture book. More Inferium and some more XP. We've not done anything else in there. So Steam Age. We've gained some rubber because in our house we've used rubber planks. And obviously from a drop from the rubber tree you get this sticky resin. So we can claim all of these. And we get some slime balls. And some saplings and all sorts. Don't think we've got anything else to claim. Which is good. Okay so we're all up to date there. I'm going to make a cut and I'm going to go find some animals to, to slay and I'll be back with you when we've got enough food. So the sun has starting to set now and I have went fishing pretty much the whole day. <laughs> I, I remembered we got a fishing rod, didn't we, from our chest that we looted from the first episode. And I thought, you know what, I can't find any animals about that I can slay or anything like that. So I thought I'd just go fishing for a bit. We got a lot of the fish. We got some cooking over here. But I've just remembered there's one thing I want to make before we even start going mining. And we need it to be nighttime so mobs spawn so we can get a specific few things. I'm not going to take all this food with me on our mining adventure. So what my plan is to get spiders to spawn, I'm just going to sit in here, let things spawn, sleep. Things will hopefully die and burn. That won't kill us. And then we can go out and attack the spiders the thing i need spiders and i need string because i want to make a couple of backpacks to go mining with so we have more inventory space because i don't want to run out of inventory space when i'm in the mines i want to be mining for a good 20 to 30 minutes and just solidly just getting items after items after items and not having to worry about filling up in my inventory i'm gonna sleep while i'm up here let it go today and hopefully there's a few spiders out and about that we can hopefully pick off and get right let's eat something new let's see if we get a new heart here let's scran a shrimp we did not get we just we just yeah we've just yet yeah, eaten a shrimp we got nothing from it and let's see if there are any mobs about oh what he quick minded Cooldown reduction, magic power, put it on. Put it on, it's armor at the end of the day. Managed to get some boots as well from fishing. Okay, well, I'm presuming there's no um, no spiders on, on, up on the mouth. Let's see if there's a way we can get string crafting. Flax. What is flax? Is, is flax this stuff that goes... It's like wheat, but with blue on the top of it. Is that what flax is? Because if so, there's loads of it somewhere about here. I've seen it. Are you flax? <gasps> Wild flax, yeah. Do we need to grow it? Because if so, then ooh, that's not a great way of us getting that because we don't have any bone meal. I'll come back to you when I figured out a way of getting string and making some backpacks. Right, okay, I may have found an alternative to the backpack. We might not need string, but it might be a little bit more difficult to get and we can't make as many of them. So I've typed in backpack here. I'm thinking we can only use these ones. There's a whole section here that I haven't even looked at. We could make, possibly make one of these now i don't know if we can and i know that we need iron so we will have to go do a little bit of mining but if we can go to the little thing that's by our house and get say four iron there we're pretty much good to do this all we need is the leather i think we've got two other than that we have pretty much everything if i take this wool and get a little bit of wood to make said chest we almost have enough to make that version a different version of a backpack we have the that was nearly a panic sleeping bag that's what we need oh no oh oh i thought it was conflicted it's not we're okay this button changes that so there we go we got a white sleeping bag there so now all we need is the tanks we've got the glass already we have 10 glass i think we need two okay we've got that we've got two sand there that we can cook up there we go we've got our glass we just need the iron now 
So let's go get our iron. And we just grab this. We've got our four. That's perfect. In fact, we've got a little bit more, which is great. Always nice to have. But we've got what we need. We just need the leather. So we need to go on a bit of a cow killing spree or a cow hunting spree. Snails everywhere, but no cows. Seem to really be struggling here. I'm going to get the leather. I will be back to you when we can f make the backpack because this is this is not good. Right, I must have been searching for a good like half an hour for a cow. Couldn't find one. It's even started raining. I was getting that wet outside that I thought, screw it. I'm going to go home, wait for the rain to pass over. I was looking through the way you make leather, if you will. So I just typed in leather here and clicked on it and was searching through obviously crafting there was no way of us crafting it smelting it there's no way of us smelting it and i managed to find this the drying basin so i've already made the drying basin here and seen and tried to test and see if it worked and yeah it's pretty easy all you got to do is put your rotten flesh in the drying basin and let it do its thing it doesn't take long it takes five seconds done so now we have five of these we can now make our tanks for our backpack. So we're going to be going for this backpack right here. We're going to be going for the adventure, or is it standard adventure one? Is that what they call it? A standard traveler's backpack. And all we need is the gold. And the gold we have right up here. We're going to need the one. And we have absolutely everything for it. You there, and the two tanks on the side. We finally have a backpack. Does it have much storage? Not really. But it does. Is that a crafting table? It's not the most storage you'll see in the world. I'm just going to put some of our food in there so we're not lugging around as much food. So I'm just going to throw everything away. To make the drying basin as well, by the way, it's dead, 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 dead simple. It was, it was two iron, which we had spare from our backpack because we only needed four, but we managed to get six. Any sort of log and black dye. Now, I got the black dye from the squids that are out there. We could actually go mining now. I'm not really prepared, though, because no, I need some torches. So I can make some torches dead quick. That's not a problem. Yep, that'll do. We got charcoal. We do have a couple of quests as well. I am going to wait until the rain. In fact, we can turn the rain sound down because that is quite annoying. There we go. It's much better. Let's claim some quests then. So we got some something in farming. We got our leather, of course which we get another leather piece of leather for. So we get some XP. Did we get something else done? I thought we did. We didn't. The harvest moon rises. Your crops provide better harvest. Oh, that's kind of cool. There's different types of moons as well. Can we sleep through this moon or not? Because if we can't, I'm going to cut and travel over to the place where we need to be. We can sleep through this moon. Yay. So as long as it's not a blood moon, we can sleep, I guess. Let's start making our way over to the hole. We're here! <laughs> We're at the hole. Here it is in all its glory. We need to find a safe way down here now. And I'm noticing there's a bit of water over here. So let's utilize that water. I'm not going to show too much of this mining in terms of like, you, you see us getting generic, like generic stuff. You know, your iron, your, your, your water, your water, because I looked at water. Yeah, coal, stuff like that. I want to show the uh, the materials you don't normally get. Like, what is that? Is that... I don't know. What are you? I don't know. Oh, there's already things wanting to kill me. Well, there's only one way to take these out. And it's just to get down and dirty. I'll tell you now, I'm mainly here for iron so we can have iron armor. Now, this is a big boy cave down here. It'd be nice to see properly without rain this was a good cave to, to to discover look we've got lead over here we've got thorium whatever that is can't even pick it up i don't think no i can't pick it up it's it's all you need iron stuff so i'm gonna start mining away and i'll i'll, I'll get to you when we've got loads of this like iron coal basic stuff and then we'll mine some exotic weird ores together we could not have timed this mining trip any worse. Look at what it's just said in the chat. That could not have been timed any worse. Right, so a few, a few things have happened since the last clip. I've lit up this pr pretty much most of this area. The most, the most of it as you drop in. But there's, it, it just goes on and on. Like if you go through here, 
there's places down here which are a little bit harder to see but there's places down here like i killed a few zombies while i was in here and a few general mobs so i tried to light up the area so we're not going to get absolutely bamboozled every two seconds but there seems to be like weird noises in here i don't like it but i've just done some general mining got some iron stuff together and i thought i'd throw some of it in here uh just so you guys are aware as well this section here is actually like a crafting table so yeah that's great i guess so i'm gonna make a iron pickaxe right about now we've got this reward thing i don't know what this does but let's just do it what does it do oh curse of bones now i've done a quest as well it's like a bounty quest that i got yeah see look kill five zombies we've already done i've now killed 10 and we get a xp and a random reward what did we get we got a mega torch oh oh that'll be f that's boss for our area that we live in that's great and that's done another quest as well actually hasn't it so we've now got some more of this if we go to our backpack we can make ourselves some fresh new booties we like the booties but you'll see there's loads of these about i don't know what they do i want to break them but i don't want them to do anything bad to me so i'm gonna wait for this to smell we're gonna go get some ores let's see about some ores that we haven't that we can't we can pick up now what's this lead let's pick up a load of lead because we don't know what it's used for it could be useful nickel as well there is vein mine i have been using vein mine down here because i don't want to be spending too long down here because it's dangerous mag Nah, magnetite block. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but just pick it up. Anything we've never seen before, we're picking up, okay? Because it's going to prove useful to us down the line, even if we don't need it right now. It's going to be nice to have, like, this. What's this? Oh, I can't even pick that up. That's, that's the diamond stuff. So hopefully, we're not going to get attacked by mobs while we're down here. We've got Inferium. Oh, so we'll get Inferium from that. That's nice. you got Paw. Uranit? Uraninite. Oh, English. Whatever you are. So this is just a first basic mining mission. We're just going to grab some stuff and we're going to get out of here. We're just going to see what we can do, see what we can make, see what see what quests we can do. And hopefully we can get back in time and still be able to take on that thing that was doing us in. Coal. That gives us raw coal. I don't know what we do with this raw coal. I'm not going to pick up too much of it because it seems to be quite plentiful. I don't know what these crystal things do. We can look at what everything does when we get back properly. Uh, have we got any more to put in there before we, we, we go? We do. We have a load more to put in there. Holy. We'll just get a little bit more stuff and then we'll start heading back. We will, however, make a whole new sword in an iron one. That's going to be a little bit better and serve us a little bit better. We need some pants because I'm sorry. As much as we like to have our, you know, red speedos on, the thighs are a little bit chilly. So we will put our pants on okay we'll wait for the rest of this to do look he's got there's a wandering trader over there he's getting chased down by a zombie we're gonna go see what ores are over there come back here and grab our the rest of our stuff and then we'll get out of here i don't know what these things do but they glow and they're animated and i like it so anything that flashes is in the rule of thumb for me anything that flashes pick it up do you know what i mean i don't know what you are but pick you up Hopefully, we can start having a good start in silent ears now. I like having ores that I don't know what they do, because I like learning about what they're going to do. Ah, lovely. And we completed a quest in killing creepers. Lovely. Take you. We've got loads of stuff now. We've got dark gems. we got thorium. Right. There's still loads more down here that we have not even touched, and I will definitely be back here. I might shave a little bit, or I might record some stuff of ores that we've not seen and, and stuff like that. Raw asbestos? Why would I want asbestos? That's going to kill me. I'm just going to sit here, wait for this to finish melting, and I'm going to go back to the base. So I'll see you when we get back to the base. All right, we've made it home. Lovely. Oh, and it wasn't too bad. It was a little bit dangerous, a little bit sketchy. We can actually now, if I clear my inventory, we can go and take over that mushroom. I'll tell you one thing that did happen that was a little bit surprising. When we were in the cave and I was just defending while I was waiting for everything to smell, we got this little pop-up here. You've earned one level. Click here if you want to access the GUI to increase one of your perks. I'm going to click it and see what it does. What does it do? Concentration Jailer, Memento, Necro, Ancient Runes. What the hell are these? Increases the chances of finding special items. That's probably the best one uh, for us at the minute, right? I'm going to click you. I did it. I don't know what you did. I, I just did the uh, one that would give us some extra 
drops. I also want to claim the quests that we managed to complete because we did actually manage to complete a lot of quests in that. So we, we did the creeper one, which you guys saw. We got the gunpowder and we got XP. Okie dokie, that's all lovely. I need to click you, click you to get the XP done. Thank you. Tips and tricks. We did the mega torch. We got the mega torch from a quest, uh, from a reward. So I'm going to click you and we also get another reward from that. Hopefully we can get something good. Let's click it now. We got augment speed. What's it for? What 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 mods it from? Iron furnaces. Ooh. Let's see. We got another thing in thermal series. When it wants to load, there we go. We got XP and the book about it, so we can read up on the mod. What the heck is this? We got something to do. Welcome to power, manual, and a wrench. And uh, we got something in evil craft, which is now this thing here so we got origins of darkness and some more xp lovely stuff we got books and we got wrenches we got all the things that we don't need i'm gonna just throw right so this seems to be like our block chest and this seems to be our random crap sort of chest i'm gonna try and organize these things off camera we can place this down right now mm, but where is the is the uh is the question i'm gonna go at the back center of the house screw it if we can't pick it back up we can pick it back up it'll be picked up whenever to this thing that's probably gonna finish us off i swear down if they're not all here now i'm gonna be annoyed where's the entrance to this place oh they're not that strong Okay, so they, they hurt a little bit. Especially this guy. Okay, okay. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Jesus Christ, let me... Why the hell did we... We spent so long looking for leather, we could have just come here and killed these cows. Right, I need to go back in there and take out more of these spawners. Is a spawners? Take all of that. That's cool. There's stuff in here that's quite nice, actually. Oh, there's more. There's another chest there. Another chest here. Let's see what's... Oh! Loads of emeralds, apples, spuds. We can make a nice farm with them. Golden nuggets and some uh, armor. Leaves were not really fussed on and the rose bushes were not really fussed on either. Is that it? Have we done them? You're dead. Anything in these ones? These bigger ones? There is. Iron. Suspicious things. We'll take some water. Coal. Some raw salmon. Some wheat seeds. Okay. Yeah, I tell you what, it wasn't wasn't bad. There was that main guy who hurt a little bit, but he wasn't bad. What is this? We are taking all of this. This is all handy, all useful. Give me everything. Lava cauldron, smithing table. Give me. I'm sure we've looted everything in there. If not, you guys can let me know in the comments below, as well as let me know what you guys think of the house. If you think there could could be any improvements made. And if you did enjoy today's episode, please do hit the like button. If you're new around here and you want to subscribe, please do. That would be amazing. It would mean the world to me. We're trying to hit a thousand, but you never know. You never know. It would be great. It's all a dream, right? And I will see everybody in the next episode. Goodbye.